What are we doing here, Rick? Benson asked. How will this work? Well, we'll probably fight and laugh and cry. We'll let each other be raw and moody and angry. Will we be lovers? He asked in a very soft voice. His gaze remained fixed on the fire. I want that very much, I admitted easily. When he asked me why, I looked at his profile in soft light. Aside from your being beautiful, I replied. Something felt incredibly right when I held you on that battlefield. I haven't felt anything that right in a long time. But I don't want to be another person pushing you. He rested his golden head on my shoulder and put his free hand on my thigh. We sipped our drinks in silence for a time, enjoying the fire. For once, he pushed just right as it whispered. What do you want for breakfast? I asked, feeling exceedingly happy. My omelets are pretty good. Let's eat out, he replied. We can do the marketing and get the news of the day. When I told him that I got the paper delivered, he replied that the cafe had the news of the people, the best intelligence there is. He also mentioned tasty white sausages. I made a note to buy tasty white sausages so we could sleep in now and then. However, I had to guard against the strong temptation to keep him all to myself. Vincent meant a great deal to a lot of people, and despite his current skittishness, he needed that attention to fully heal.